Hi, Leo. It's Kendrick from Providence Tarot. I'm coming to you with your proofread for January, the second one, right? Last one for January, basically. How are you? How have you been doing? We have a full moon in Leo this month. I'm kind of excited about that, right? And that means that we're going to have a new moon in Aquarius. And that's in your house of relationships. Especially if you are a Leo rising. Mm, so what does this mean? Does it mean that you're going to meet new friends? Are you going to form some new relationships with some friends, right? Or maybe you're going to kind of... I don't know. I feel like it's the dawning of some new connections, right? That you'll be making as we go through the year, right? Between now and your birthday in the summertime. Moon and Cancer. So this is kind of like feeling a little bit emotionally downtrodden about something, you know, and you have your emotions set on something, you know. You also might be having a gut feeling about something, you know, and that's making you sad with this Four of Cups being here, Moon and Cancer, okay. There's some fears to, that you have of facing these emotions and accepting them because the Fours do have to do with accepting something accepting some aspect of yourself that you can't control and that you maybe wish that you could in some kind of way, right? And you might be seeking attention or seeking the emotional validation that you want, that you desire in ways that aren't actually satisfying you. So we have to see what it is that we can do Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or if you have a stellium there or whatever, you know, ruling planet, anything, what it is that you can do to kind of like come out of this, um, this emotional slump, right? Okay, let's go ahead and lay the cards out and see what they say. Eight of Swords, the Hanged Man, the Princess of Swords. Okay, so it's like your worry is based on lack. Your worry is based on fear, you know, fear-based worry. That's what the Four of Cups talks about, right? And the feelings are fear-based as well. The Eight of Swords is kind of like worry that is, um, you know, creating a bit of a psychological prison for you, a cage, right? You're caged in your own thoughts and it's preventing you from uh, having any kind of perspective, having any kind of uh, outlook whatsoever, right? With this eight of swords being here or there is no like ability or you don't feel the, the, the strength of the mind to believe something, you know? Or you may not want to believe it, right? Just because this is here. Cause so it could be all of those things, either or, or all of them, you know. Uh, it's, this is Jupiter and Gemini. So this is Jupiter like in the debilitated sense. So you don't feel free. You don't feel like, um, you feel very um, just boxed in, right? And no one's doing it to you. It's really just, you know, how you're seeing um, your placement, you know, your positioning, right? So it's your positioning that could be um, encouraging this thought process that you're going through, you know, your your circumstance, right? Because these are all reasons, you know. You could be, you could be, um, you could be making excuses for yourself, right, in some kind of way, or you could be making excuses for something, right, or coming up with some kind of like excuse to explain away not dealing with something right i don't know that's what i got and then the hanged man is here and it's saying like you just feel vulnerable and that's what's making you like this right it's a three so it's talking about a little bit of confusion and kind of like um the mind going a little bit crazy right now so you don't know you don't feel like you can 
be definitive in this moment, you know, <laughs> you feel like you don't even know that you don't even, you don't have the words to explain how you might be feeling right now. You know, it's almost like words can't explain. And uh, the hanged man here is also saying like, you just need to like, get out. You need to get out in nature and like, even if it's just walking around or even, even if it's just getting fresh air, like that type of thing, or even just listening to nature sounds when you meditate, that actually might be really good for you, that type of situation. Uh, some of you need to pray depending on whatever it is that your belief system is, right? Um, some of you just need to pray in general, right? This is like your your worry is based on fear and lack, right? You just don't feel very strong right now. Um, this also is feeling like you are, you want to get out of a situation, right? You just want to get out of it. You know, you might even want to sacrifice it. And it's like, I'm willing to do whatever I need to do to just leave or to just uh, get out of this situation. It's an environment that you don't like being in, right? Or it's like something that you're attached to that you don't want to be attached to anymore. You know what I mean? You're like, it's time for me not to be attached to this anymore, right? Like that type of thing, okay? Uh, and then you have the Princess of Swords here, and the Princess of Swords is giving you a new opportunity to change something about your, to change your perception, right? You have the ability, that's the power of the mind, honey. You have the, you have the ability to change your mind and change your perception, and bam, no. Yeah? But then the Princess of Swords is like challenging you to think in a different way, right? Because these are all ruled by Saturn, right? Because they're learning, they're at the beginning stages of like who they're going to become, right? So they're hopeful prospects, right? So your your perspective and your perception, you know, you could just be being a little bit reluctant, you know? It's your reluctance to believe the truth. And that's kind of how the page of swords is. It's like, honey, you in my classroom. I didn't told you. So that's kind of like what what the the energies are saying. Look, I didn't told you. I didn't taught you. I didn't show. Read your wrote you. You know what I mean? Read your wrote you. Told you not. I read you. You've been read. The chariot. Yes. The king of pentacles. Right. The wheel of fortune. Come on. Movement, travel, growth, victory, a situation is going to get better and it's going to stabilize with this King of Pentacles being here. Somebody's helping your ass out. Somebody's doing something for you. Or somebody's giving you the way. This is good, Leo. King of Pentacles energy, bam. Right? Stability. Okay? Something just coming into formation for you. Right? On the move. Get going. Feeling victorious. Okay, this is great. We picked it up. 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 I told you how to pray, right? You can't get up. You gotta do it. Hello. On a Sabbath day, what did he do? He rested. But this is like, oh, I'm not resting. I'm going now. And this is easy. It's gliding, right? Rolling along, rolling along. You got the Wheel of Fortune here, which is saying like, okay, now I'm getting the hang of this. I'm starting to feel more comfortable with myself, right? Oh, okay. I feel like, you know, this is some energy that is making me feel jolly and good again, right? Okay, okay, okay. I'm hoping for something. I'm hoping for something. I see that there's possibility and opportunity in this. Okay, this is great. I like this. Leo, improving. Watch. When this month is over... Only a matter of time here, especially with the hangman. Only a matter of time, right? And with the chariot, okay. Whoo! And it's gonna be kind of like something's gonna happen quick, especially with the chariot next to the wheel of fortune. Bam! So the opportunity is gonna come. Are you gonna take it? Like, share, and subscribe. Comment on the video. I'll leave information in the description box below if you want to get in contact with me for getting a reading. It is Providence Tarot Kendrick at gmail.com. 
follow me on IG. It's Providence Tarot there. And my personal account is NYC Kendrick. Bye, Leo.